Hello, and welcome back to CoinLady channel. Another pivotal central bank project involving digital currency has shortlisted the San Francisco-based blockchain payment company Ripple as a technical partner. By the way, the ICBLA presented the esteemed Defender of Freedom Award to John Deaton, a pro-XRP attorney and managing partner of the Deaton Legal Company, and the charts predict the price of XRP. In the future, can Ripple's victory impact the Coinbase case in a significant way for or against? Follow me through to the end to learn more? Check out this new video as soon as possible. If this sounds like something that would be of interest to you, particularly the National Bank of Georgia has advanced its preparations for the digital GL pilot projects significantly. In its second CBC project testing round the bank shortlisted Ripple along with eight other companies as a possible technological partner, Anthony Welfare, a CBDC. Advisor for Ripple went on the X platform to inform the crypto community of the news, the MBG announced its desire to move forward with the CBDC initiative in a formal announcement, the bank declared its intention to create a live pilot environment with restricted access. The setting would be used as a proving ground to assess the CBDC system's technological prowess the release claims. A number of use cases will be used to evaluate its possible uses express joy the accomplishment and noted the careful study and evaluation processes had gone into it. The MBG concluded that nine companies had demonstrated the necessary technological proficiency and pertinent experience to take part in the pilot project as a consequence, one of the nine companies having the necessary expertise, capacity, and motivation to carry forward with the banks. CBDC move was recognized as being Ripple Labs. Recall that James Wallace Ripple's vice president for CBDC engagement recently revealed that the company was in active contact with at least 30 nations about using their CBTC solution. Although some of the nations where Ripple is actively engaging are in the CBDC pilot stages. The identities of those countries are not all made public. They include Colombia, Montenegro, Putin, Hong Kong, and the Republic of Palau. The National Bank of Georgia stated that it is still open to considering different technology solutions that the chosen businesses may present at this time. The bank made it clear that while working on the Digital GL initiative, it maintains a technologically neutral attitude and is not bound to any particular technology. The MBU will choose the single technology partner to move forward to the pilot stage following the conclusion of the selection stage. Please remember to tick the notification button and subscribe to our channel so you can be the first to learn about any developments involving XRP. John Deaton, a supporter of XRP, has responded to receiving the Defender of Freedom Award from the International Congress of Blockchain Legal Advisors. In order to provide context, ICB led Disclose the News and a press release that was released on September 25. The group stated that the Defender of Freedom Award is a distinction honoring people and organizations for their outstanding efforts to defend freedom in the crypto world. Attorney Deaton was hailed by ICBL as a truly merited winner whose forward-thinking approach made it possible for owners of digital assets to intervene against the SEC's enforcement activities. Additionally, the group emphasized Dean's role in the SEC versus citing the judge's citation of his amicus brief in the summary decision. He claimed that the influence of his involvement may be felt in the Ripple case. Interesting to notice is that the $5,000 cash award that comes with a Defender Freedom Award. Attorney Deaton responded by expressing his gratitude in his acceptance speech on the X platform on behalf of the 75k XRP holders. Additionally, he recognized tech reporter Naomi Brockwell, who gave him permission to use her identity and testimony in court to discredit the government and the draw case. The well-known crypto advocate recalled how he filed a motion to intervene in the Ripple lawsuit as a real defendant together with 12,600 XRP holders who later grew to 75,000. SEC enforcement action had never requested what we were asking for. He asserts that he has never been sued by thousands of investors. She received the reward even though the judge rejected her plea to intervene. Holders of XRP Now whoever makes you curious status, according to Deaton didn't emphasize the role that XRP owners played in the case. 
The judge only acknowledged a small number of the three key exhibits offered in the case, including affidavits, the owner of XRP. Deaton also stated how the SEC emphasized the significance of the LVR decision. He claims that the agency contended that the LBI judge classified LPC as a security and failed to distinguish between sales made on the secondary market that were made independently of the corporation. Brockwell gave Deaton authority to challenge the SEC and Deaton did so and prevailed. On January 30th, the LBI court made it clear that his verdict only pertained to LBR. OS direct sales of LBC and that secondary market transactions were not covered by it. In her decision to grant summary judgment in the Ripple litigation, Judge Annalisa Torres referenced the LBI. Verdict Attorney Deegan asserted that if XRP holders had not risen up and fought for themselves, a fight events would not have been named in the Ripple case. He continued by saying that Judge Torres would not have made reference to the decision in her summary decision if Naomi hadn't given him permission to represent her in the LBR case. Without each of them all of my efforts would have amounted to nothing. So when I collected this fantastic honor, I did so on their behalf, he continued. Alger also claimed that chart patterns do not entirely dictate the price of XRP a recent tweet. He claimed that the current market conditions are reflected in the price of XRP. According to him, charts have little bearing on the price of XRP that represents the dynamics of the market. Notably, Alger responded to a post anticipating a 1,160% increase in the price of XRP. Following market analysis, by posting on X to share this viewpoint algebra argue that in contradiction to what the market chart implies, XRP's value will increase to suit the needs of the global monetary system. LGR has specifically said that the demand for quick and inexpensive payment solutions is anticipated to grow in light of the unstable situation of the world's monetary system and the decreasing availability of liquid assets. Therefore, he claimed that as this need grows, the price of XRP will unavoidably have to climb to keep up with the escalating demands and opposition reversals and alliage interpretations of XR, P's price and market dynamics. Some individuals in the cryptocurrency industry made counter-arguments. Although a user appreciated algebra's focus on market dynamics, they also emphasize the advantages of using charts. The commentator claims that charts are a useful tool since they take into account the buying and selling activities of many different people. Furthermore, he asserted that charts efficiently compiled the information experience and wisdom of millions of market players. The commenter thinks that when it comes to the value of XRP, collective wisdom is more valuable than individual opinion. Charts, according to them offer a real-time, live-streaming picture of market forces and give insight into the dynamic interactions that take place within the market. The sentiment was echoed by another crypto enthusiast, don't chart show market forces, specifically everyone's collective market-related greed and terror. Notably, chart analysts have predicted that in the near future XRP will increase by double digits. That came to a conclusion by looking at the historical trends that occurred before XRP at its last record high. The key question of the day is whether or not Ripple 1 can make a significant contribution to the Coinbase case, either for or against. Please remember to tick the notification button and subscribe to our channel. So you can be the first to learn about any developments involving XRP. Ryan Armstrong, CEO of Coinbase, has emphasized how the recent Ripple victory over the US SEC benefits his business. Remember that on June 5, the SEC filed a lawsuit against Coinbase claiming that the firm runs an unregistered securities exchange and that its staking offering comprise unregistered securities under U.S. law laws. The SEC, however, has recently lost a case against Ripple in which the judge determined that XRP secondary sales did not qualify as security transactions. In a recent interview with CNBC Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong mentioned that decision and noted how it supports his company's defense strategy. The CEO was speaking on the same day that Washington DC-based Coinbase hosted a significant cryptocurrency event. In response to inquiries about the status of Coinbase as legal action against the SEC, 
Brian Armstrong said that his business is extremely confident in the case. Ryan Armstrong claims that his confidence is supported by recent legal proceedings, in which three different judges determined that particular cryptocurrencies were not securities, the notorious Terraform Labs case and another one involving Ripple were picked up by the CEO of Coinbase. For instance, the judge determined that the underlying assets themselves were not securities in the Ripple and Terraform cases. The CEO of Coinbase acknowledged in his interview that this is a crucial aspect in our situation as well. Granted if it were determined that some cryptocurrencies are not securities the SEC is claims that Coinbase runs an unauthorized securities exchange by allowing consumers to trade the assets will be successfully refuted. Contrary to what the agency asserts the law actually does not require that the exchange be registered with the SEC Brian Armstrong agree that there should be clear regulations for crypto industry. Despite criticizing the SEC regulation by enforcement strategy. The CEO of Coinbase claims that these regulations will aid in defending cryptocurrency investors against dishonest individuals, as seen by the collapse of FTX. The CEO of Coinbase added that the regulator should have published clear guidelines and participated in a rulemaking process as required by law, companies involved in the crypto industry may have more easily complied with such legislation. Additionally, it might have avoided the current situation in which the U.S. must turn to the courts for regulatory clarification. Ryan Armstrong, a congressman, made a conclusion. Like the video if you found it enjoyable and don't forget to subscribe. See you later, bye.